Yo, what's up guys? It's Garrison here and welcome back to the channel. So today, here I am finally to do my first listen to P1 Harmony's debut mini album titled This Harmony Standout. I have only heard good things about this debut mini album by P1 Harmony. You all have been requesting this heavily ever since I checked out their debut song Siren which is a bop and a half by the way I feel like P1 Harmony already is up my alley in terms of style just with Siren alone and also with the recent uh, video that I did to their cover to Conan Gray's Maniac and such and a lot of been, people have been raving about one particular B-side that um, I will talk later on about in this first listen. Aside from that, let's just get into it, shall we? So here we are, the first track. It is titled Intro, also known as Breakthrough in parentheses. I do know that there is a full version out there on YouTube somewhere and it's been recommending me that video here and there. So be sure to let me know if you want to see me do a video to the full version of it. Aside from that, I do know that all the members wrote their own lyrics for this song. We love to see it. Let's just go. Wow, loving the energy right off the bat. Wow, with the grimy guitar in the back. That is nasty. Hey. <laughs> Ooh. Loving how angelic like it is here in this part of the track. With that clapping or stomping in the back. <laughs> what a crazy intro to this debut mini album wow they really came out with a bang right here this is this sort of makes me thinking up like they're gearing up for something you know it works so well for like um if they were to perform um of course a uh, siren i'm pretty sure they have used this track before on a stage uh with siren but wow definitely i uh, would i uh, didn't expect that to happen and this really goes into or furthers sort of my um thoughts of how p1 harmony is reminding me of older groups back in 2014 2015 beyond sf9 and uh, we shall see or i shall see if um that sort of thought or idea or um opinion progresses as i go into the rest of this debut mini album and as i check out their future releases let's just get into the next track now shall we so this next track is titled nemonade now i know that many of all have been requesting for me to do a video to nemonade as well as their dance performance of it so i'll get to that after this first listen but there's two notable names that i want to talk about here okay lee sang hyup of and flying, of course, good to see his input on this track, as well as a couple of members, uh, Jung Sub and Intak, if I remember correctly. And then also at the same time, Coach and Sendo. Wow. Coach and Sendo, if in case y'all didn't know, Coach and Sendo has worked with Luna as of recently, has worked with shiny in the past a lot of notable names and their sound is usually that they do or well known for is for 80s throwback 
um, retro sounds with a mix of um, EDM sometimes and funk. They could really work and put out R&B hits too as well. Huge, huge, huge producer name out there, Coach and Sendo. So let's get into this now. Oh, loving the strumming of the guitar for this. Loving the trap sounds here and there. Oh. Oh, where's this going though? Wow. Love the big bit of guitar here and there too. Love the strum and can't get enough of it, but Kyo. But not just Kiho. I love how there's a bit of swagger when they deliver their lines. Super strong vocals. Hey, hey, hey. I got some lemons for you. Like how it's a bit playful in the in terms of the lyrics too. Ooh, that sax in the back? Then talk. The junk sub. Wow, this is quite catchy too, this song. Wow, you all weren't kidding when you said how good this mini album was <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself right now because I don't know wh why why it took so long to start this first listen but Nemonade wow I feel like this furthers my idea or opinion of how P1 Harmony reminds me of 2014, like 2015 um, boy groups who are now like known as really well known in the scene. Um, but they really have this masculinity to them, you know what I'm saying? That reminds me of those groups. And that is, that's, I feel like that's, a huge thing that's setting them apart from the these other um, boy groups that are debuting and such coming out from their generation. It, it's crazy how they can be this masculine, 
um, for their age. And I'm pretty sure um, these boys in terms of variety are hilarious. Um, I'm sure I'm sure of it, of course, um, them being younger brothers to uh, SF9 from the same label and all. But aside from that, the overall soundscape of this, I love, 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 love the acoustic bolstered like acoustic guitar um how the rap connected from intok to jong sub of course um and their vocal colors really stand out really stand out and even though they really stand out apart from each other they just work so well together and like i said this boy group is so up my alley with their hip hop heavy style and how mature, like I said earlier, they are when it comes to their music. Nemonade, what an amazing song. Definitely a song that I can keep in my rotation um, and actually stream for sure. And it, it get, it's, it, this After this, I'm definitely excited to see how the choreo is going to go. And um, it's even on my recommendations here. There's a live performance of Nemine. Definitely going to check that out after I've checked out the dance performance for this song. Let's get into the next B-side now, shall we? All right, so this next track is titled That's It. Now, P1 Harmony, of course, wrote their own lyrics to this song we love to see it but i'm seeing the composers park susuk and soji Yun. let me know if you know one of the two or both of them as soji Yun's name um reminds me of some artists in this scene but yeah let's just get into it <laughs> Okay. That one, this one. That one, this one. In talk. Okay, this seems very rap heavy so far. Or hip hop heavy. Hey. <laughs> Jung Sub. Love how the 808 bass is utilized in this song. Oh, just how they're delivering their rap verses. I love how it's they're doing it. Those whole English rap verses there. Oh, Theo. Love the effect behind his vocals here, his voice. Hey. Oh my goodness, this is nasty. This is dirty. And I like how the instrumental still continues for a bit here. Wow. Love the woodwind instruments used in here, and like I said, the 808 bass, but aside from that, 
I feel like in the future when P One Harmony comes out with music, you know, you can't predict what they're gonna come out with. Okay, that's it. You know, that is it. What a song. Okay, I love, I love, I, and I'm seeing a recommendation for a live video for that's it. I'm gonna have to check that out on my own time. <laughs> oh wow! As some of y'all may know me. I love me my ballads, but I do love me a lot of hip hop. Okay, I do listen to K hip hop on my own time, hip hop in general in my own time, and R and B of course. But wow, they really went all out with this one, Kiho. Okay, before Kiho just came in like casually like that, I was trying to say that I love how not just like I wouldn't say like. I wouldn't say like their rap skill is like insane, but like I, I was trying to say there that I love how their delivery with their rap verses is different from each other. You know what I'm saying? Their rap skills aren't insane, but they're really good to just start off with this early and such, and considering how young they are, and it it really shows. Their chemistry right away with this song, I I feel like their chemistry is already off to a good start in the debut era, of course, and yeah, let me talk about Kiho, okay? Considering his background, his profile, and now hearing those full English rap verses. He might be the man. He might be the bias for me. Just saying, okay. Just saying, okay. Actually, he he probably will be the bias, okay. Ninety nine percent, okay. Checked off. And yeah, that's it. That is it. What can I say? A song that I could really vibe to, jam to. You know, if I just want to, just um groove to. I'm just gonna play this song and blast it like no tomorrow. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into the next B-side now. All right, so the next track we have here is titled Butterflies. Now, I've only heard about good things about this B-side, okay? And hopefully, hopefully, y'all didn't overhype me for this track. So the Aristocrats, if you are not familiar with Aristocrats and uh, Max Song, these are the same people who did their title track siren um but more specifically for the aristocrats i'm familiar with them working with huge artists such as their brother group sf9 so be sure to search them up and see what kind of hits they put out and so far what i've heard from them i've only heard straight jams and bangers to be honest uh please note that jiang inhak and jong sub did take part in the lyrics department with Han Sung Ho. Has been I've been saying his name quite a bit when doing SF9 first listens and such. Aside from that, let's go. Come in. We will go. Oh wow. Oh my. Every time when in talk and then into Jung Sub, their rap is just so captivating. I love how the song is a bit mysterious, but... How their vocals are really shining through this very technical, techno uh, track. Pick it up with Intak again. 
없는 날개 주자 정해진 길로 갈게 정해놓지 말라 Okay, so wow. How the how the drag their lines like Kiho here is dragging his lines. And the sounds of warping here and there. Oh, where's this going though? Back with the chanting. Ayo, ayo. Ayo, 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 ayo. Wow. Okay, now I understand. <laughs> now I understand the all the hype behind this particular B-side on this mini album. I'm going to say it right away, even though we have not ended this first listen yet and we have not finished, um, you know, with the skit, uh, the final track on this mini album. Butterfly is my favorite B-side on this debut mini album, hands down. Okay. And like I said, whenever I see aristocrats on a track and I see these like minds with the aristocrats, it's usually good, and this is more than good, really. Okay, the classic um, sampling coming at the start, of course, the you know um, sampling up for the producer, and then right away we get into wow, how the techno heavy, bass heavy, um, and how wavy this song is. I love how it's structured in that way, and how these boys. I, I feel like a broken record by now, but they really do remind me of um, the 2014, the boy groups that come from 2014, 2015, the likes of EXO, the likes of SF9, the likes of Monster X, okay? And let me lead that to my next point. Those groups, okay? tend to have songs where there's not just one rap part, you know, okay, we're just going to insert a rap part here and just call the date. No, 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 no. For those boy groups, they insert it here and there in the smallest little pockets sometimes or just in uh, uh, or, or in songs he quite heavily um, in certain parts, whether it's at the start, whether it's the end, where it's at the middle, they just do it like that. And P1 Harmony, I love how there is a bit of chaos when it comes to their music. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, mind you, but I'm saying it as in there is no certain structure or formula that they are going for. You know, I'm saying, okay, sure, in terms of their sound being a hip hop heavy boy group, but in terms of the arrangement of them songs, very unique, very different, and stand out um, from other um, boy group um, albums that I've heard when it comes to their B-sides on my own time. But Butterfly, wow. I love how it not only showcases, of course, um, 
the, their skills in rapping, but also the vo the members' um, vocals, the members who sing in this track. They really shine and pierce through this very technical, um, instrumental. You know, uh, it's it's really hard for me to listen to the songs where instrumentals really are this heavy, but considering that their vocals and their rap are really sharp and punctuated um, at certain points when they deliver their lines. It works so flawlessly with the instrumental. This this works 110%. So let's just get into the skit, and then I'll wrap things up and talk a bit more, a bit more about um, this debut mini album and also about p1 harmony of course let's just do that all right here we are skit disharmony one let's go i got the english subs for this on my end so don't worry Good school records and doing this and that as a monitor is also hard. Hmm. Really valued the experiences like that. Working hard to prepare for my debut here. Mm. I didn't have any thought of going to college at all. I just wanted to be a singer. <laughs> Decided what my dream is, but I really didn't feel being like a. Okay. Mm. Doing that dream right away. Interesting. Wow, I do love the skit here that's added in, you know. Um, it gives me a bit more of idea and position where these boys are coming from for sure um talking about uh, dreams and aspirations and those times of thinking where am i headed where am i headed and um I, that, it's something that i'm sort of experiencing myself right now at the same time and in some cases this was a relatable um skit for sure now Let's talk about this debut mini album, shall we? Okay. It kicks it off right away with an amazing, a spectacular intro. Sort of like a gearing up, you know, uh, for their debut type uh, 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 type of intro, right? And then I love how it, that, um, off my head, how it went. It was more fast in terms of um bpm um than siren their title track and i love how it provides that extreme hype and then of course i could imagine myself listening to siren i think i'd have to do that on my own time listen to intro and then directly straight into siren i think it would work um very cleanly and smoothly despite um the producers and all the songwriters being uh, different uh, from each other, uh, different um, individuals and teams working behind each track for the intro and Siren. Then we get into Nemonade. Wow, I really need to get, I really need to get into their dance performance of it. I want to see the choreo in full for it. Um, Coach and Sendo, let's be honest here, they always deliver. And I like how the members took part in the lyrics. A couple of the members, of course. And how that song really shows me more of what P1 Harmony is about. Then we get into That's It. 
that's it is like hey that's it we dropped the mic yo it's it's i love how how rap heavy the song is and how it has its unexpected moments it's um peak moments um within each member's rap and of course some vocals here and there and of course kehoe's full english rap verses then then we get into butterfly now butterfly was a super hyped up track from y'all and it definitely met my expectations okay i can understand why everyone has been hyping up butterfly and i'm pretty sure for most people butterfly is the favorite b-side among the other b-sides for this debut mini album I really do think that uh, for the common majority of uh, fans and uh, people for sure. And it makes me wonder, is there a performance of Butterfly? If so, I would totally be down to check that out. And then we got the skit to wrap things up. I feel like it was a nice and lovely um, skit to get an understanding to sort of not like directly connect with the boys but understand what position they're coming from what they're facing and what they've gone through and what they're gonna uh, try to seek in the future um, past beyond their debut with comebacks of course and such so overall love the vibes to this album uh it rem uh, i feel like uh, even beyond 2014 2015 this album reminds me of songs back in particular in the 2010 2011 days of course okay i thought wow nothing nothing is gonna go crazy like siren but the other b-sides really did of course if i were to rank b-sides mind you first listen siren of course i'd put up there as not a b-side right but in terms of b-side b-sides i would have to say butterfly that's it tied with nemonade okay i'm not saying i'm not gonna put any last placer okay all of the b-sides were good and then um intro and the skit were good in their own ways um definitely interested in the full version of breakthrough of course and definitely dance performance of Nemonade. apparently a live version of that's it wow these boys are really doing it all and i can't wait to see what they'll put out in this year of 2021 um assumingly that th they dropped siren back in october right of last year i'm guessing let's see here maybe even a march april come back by them then that's pretty um soon as the way things are going with comebacks are we're not seeing not just one comeback in a year by artists but two and sometimes three uh, depending on how everything's structured if it's a single album or if it's a mini or full album or a digital single whatever but i need to watch me some more p1 harmony content the introductions i think i will as i want to get to get a better understanding and get to know well of each and every members all six of these boys this has been garrison though let me know if you have a favorite b-side if it's butterfly um if you have a particular ranking for these b-sides let me know how you felt about this first listen i'm just glad that i finally found the time to do this first listen as many have all been requesting this and i am starting to love p1 harmony and understand what they're all about and i would love to be on that journey with uh others as well to see how p1 harmony put what 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 they'll put out in the future quite frankly but yeah have a great day. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon. As always, this has been Garrison. And like I say, if you haven't educated yourselves of what is truly saddening and what's going on in the world right now, be sure to do so. And peace.